In this video, you are going to learn how to do this moving text animation within CapCut for free. So let's not beat around the bush, let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do is open your CapCut app. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is have some sort of blank background. This is gonna help you initially when you're doing this type of animation. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type out your text. So we come to the bottom, we press text, we type on add text, and we're just gonna keep it simple for this video. We're gonna type text. And this is where you style everything now you wanna style it. So we go to font, Ooh. so we go to fonts, you know, uh, since this is the free version, we're just gonna do resolve, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I like that. And we're gonna keep it right there, keep it in the middle. And we're gonna press the check mark. That's simple. And let's just extend this to the end of this video, this 15 seconds, right here. Now that we have our text, the best way to go about doing this animation is to do it letter by letter. And you'll see why in a few minutes. And since we're going letter by letter, we're gonna want to add our T. So we come to the bottom of the screen, we press on add text again, and we just press T. Now it's gonna have the same type of font already. So all you have to do is type that T and then move it over to that T. And once you have things lined up the way you want to have it lined up, we're gonna tap it again, tap it to where we can add more letters, then we're gonna add letters underneath that first T. So we press return, add T. I'm gonna add about 10, 11 Ts, you know? You wanna add a good amount because the animation is gonna be pretty quick, but you wanna have it seem like there's endless letters going through. So adding about 10 letters is going to be beneficial. So what we wanna do from here, we wanna make sure we move it to the top T and make sure that is covering our first T right here. So once we move it over that first T, we have things lined up, we press our check mark, and we are good to go with the, our letter T. Now, what we wanna do, if we want to have this animation last a few seconds, that's fine. If we wanna have it last the whole entire 15 seconds, we move it out there as well. So for this purpose, we want it to last about three seconds, so we just move it out there. Now, keyframes when it comes to this animation are going to be your best friend. Now, if you want basically a keyframe masterclass, just check out my one video right here. It's gonna show you everything that you need to know about keyframes and how to use them within CapCut. If you already know how to use keyframes, awesome, these next steps is gonna be very simple. If you're not sure how to use keyframes, check out that video and then come back to this part of the video so you can understand how these keyframes work. So we're gonna come to the beginning of our T text right here. We're gonna add a keyframe there at the very beginning. And then we're gonna come to the very end and we're gonna add another keyframe. Now then when we add that other keyframe, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that keyframe is highlighted. And then we're gonna to wanna to move our T's all the way to the top. And then we have that our last T and we can move it over the first T. Or if you want to, you can move it a little bit above. It's all on you. But you wanna move it up so that first letter is gonna look like it's moving upwards. So now if we come back to the beginning of our video and we press play, you always wanna test it out just to see how it looks, to see if the speed and everything is working out the way you want it to work out. So we press play and you see we have our T's moving along the timeline, our T is moving up in the direction we want it to move. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Now, we are done with our T, we wanna move on to the next letter, we wanna move on to the E, and this is why I say you wanna move letter by letter, because this is part is going to make it so much easier, it's gonna speed up the entire process. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure your T's are highlighted, we're gonna to come to the bottom of our screen, we're gonna scroll, we're gonna press on duplicate, and then when you add duplicate, it's gonna add the same exact T's, but underneath your initial T. So then we're gonna to wanna to move over to that next letter to the E, and what we're gonna to wanna to do, double tap on the T's, and we can delete the T's, and now we're just gonna to wanna to add about 10, 11 E's to our text. So we add an E, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's about good right there. 
I'll come back to our video, make sure our E's are highlighted. And now, what we're gonna wanna do, we want our text to move in opposite direction. We want each letter to move in the opposite direction. So the easiest thing to do, we move our bottom E over our E in our initial text. So we do that, we press our check mark, and now you're gonna see that we have our keyframes, but as you see, if we press play, the keyframes are going to slightly move over to the T. So we need to adjust our keyframes. So we have our first keyframe. Our first keyframe is something we do not need to adjust because it's going to always be where we leave our text last on the screen. Our bottom E is starting over the text. That is where that first keyframe is going to start. So we need to come to our second keyframe and we're gonna to want to move all the way down and move it to that bottom E. So we do that, and then if we come back and we press play, you're going to see that we have our text moving in opposite directions, even with its respective letter. So we do that. You see, that's exactly how it should look. Now that we have our first two letters done, we see that we're, it's moving the way we want it to move. We're gonna move on to our third letter, which is the X, and we're gonna wanna come back to our T, and we're gonna wanna duplicate the T's again because we want that to move in the same direction as the T. So all we do is duplicate the T, we move our, that text over the X, and we make sure it's in the right spot, we double tap on that, we delete all the T's, and then we are going to just add X's. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that looks about right. Everything's lined up correctly. Now we are just going to need to adjust that second keyframe. Again, that first keyframe is exactly where we want it to be. We move that second keyframe, we come back to our screen, we move that last X over the X, the X on our text itself. So we got that. And then we can double check our work. We always wanna double check exactly what we're doing to make sure that the text is moving exactly how we need it to move. So if we press play, our text is moving exactly how we need it to move, which is awesome. That's what we want. We wanna make sure everything is kind of lined up. So I'm gonna come back and make the slight adjustment. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the E's real quick. Now, we're ready to move on to our last letter. Now, we're gonna wanna duplicate the E's this time because we want that text to move in that direction. So we go to our E, we come to the bottom, press on duplicate, and now we just change the letter to T, double tap, delete all the E's, and then just add our T's. And now, we just move our bottom T over this text T, and then we make sure we adjust our second keyframe as we always need to do, and then we make sure that's lined up, and then you should see, if I press on play, we are going to have our text moving, that text moving animation that you saw at the very beginning of the video. So if we do that, you see, that's exactly what we want, that's that's beautiful, and if you wanna add a little bit of flair to it, what you can do, you can always add, change the last letter that is going to end up on the text, and you know, you can change the style of that last letter. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, we wanna highlight that T, and then we press on Edit Style, and then we just pick a different style that we want. You see that I selected this color, and you'll see that after I'm done doing this, the last letter that shows up is going to be that yellow text that we picked. Boom, you see, boom, that's what we want. And if I wanted to, I can just extend this all the way to the end because we're gonna want that text to end just like that. Boom, you see it stops right there. Now you see that I did that with the T. The T is a different color than the rest of the letters. That's how my text is gonna end. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of the letters and you're gonna see that now because the E's are moving in a different direction, I'm going to want to move, highlight my first E because that's going to be the one that ends on the text. So I'm gonna add a different color to that one. And then with the X, 
is going to be the last one because it's moving up. So I come to the last X, edit style, change the color. Then I'm coming to the T, go to the first one because I know that's where it's going to end, edit style, and then and change the color and then when i press play the last letters that stop should all be a different color and let me extend all these real quick to the end of the video because i just want the text the letter text to stop exactly i want the letter text to stop and stay on frame so i move all this to the end and now if i press play you'll see boom and that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. I wanted each letter to be different. I wanted it to end like that. Now there's one more thing that is a small issue right now. We still see the letters in our text. So what do we do to make sure those letters disappear when we're looking at our video? So to get rid of these excess letters that we see around our initial text, what we want to do is export this video. So I always like exporting in 4K and 60 frames per second. That's just a standard for all of the videos that I'm creating. So I export this. Now that we have that video exported, you're just going to want to open it in a new project. And if we press play, you see we have our text. We have our video the way we want it. Ooh, the we're not going to worry about the color right now. That's just a small glitch right there. But the way we get rid of the excess letters, this is what we want to do. So we make sure that our video is highlighted. We come to the bottom of the screen and we're going to scroll until we find mask. And once we find mask, we select on that and we're going to want to use the mirror mask. So we press on mirror mask. And then from here, it's just about adjusting it. So we use this bottom arrow right here. We can move it around, but we do that. We can pinch it to where this text, the excess letters are not gonna show anymore. And we make sure it's at zero degrees. So we make sure everything's lined up the way we want it. We press on the check and we press play. And you see, we have a moving text right there. That's exactly what we want because the text is moving. We don't get that excess text and everything is just looking smooth the way we want it to look. And from here, you can export this video and if everything's to your liking, you export it and then you have this moving text animation for whenever you need to use it. And that's how you're gonna be able to do this moving text animation within CapCut for free. If this was a video that you enjoyed, if this was a video where you feel like you learned something, leave a like in this video. And if you have any questions about what you just saw, leave a comment below, or if you have any questions about CapCut, leave a comment below as well. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything CapCut related, anything video editing related, anything where you wanna just become better with video. So yeah, other than that, that's all I got for you. My name's Steven, I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.